Ryan, I don't know if you heard our, our previous interview there. We were talking to, to Childline just about, about, you know, people might be feeling quite disappointed today and a bit upset about things if it's not quite panned out the way that they hoped that it had. You have a story that perhaps might give people a little bit of hope today. Uh, well, yes, I can definitely relate with some of the feelings that some people across Scotland will be feeling today. Uh, having left school at 16, uh, not uh, having any hires whatsoever, uh, as a result of various things that I experienced in my childhood growing up in a deprived area, uh, I had basically completely disengaged from education by the time I turned 16. So I remember leaving school at 16 and thinking that my chance at higher education, where I wanted to go, um, had, had, had come and gone. And, and obviously that wasn't the case, but that's how I felt at that time. So I can definitely relate to people who might be feeling um, those feelings at the moment. What I would say is, due to um, a series of positive relationships that I developed from out with my traditional family structure, starting with um, a positive relationship I had with an employer, having just entered the job market, um, I was able to go and get some qualifications that the company that I worked for, who were supportive of me, paid for. And I used them to go uh, to university just slightly later than most people would. I started my law degree at the University of Strathclyde uh, probably it's about 21 or 22, if I can recall correctly. And actually, by the time that I had got there, I had worked full time since 16. So I had loads of really useful skills about time management and prioritising and deadlines and communication and managing relationships. And actually, when I got to higher education, I developed more of those positive relationships and really thrived when I got there. I ended up graduating with a first class law degree, went on to the University of Glasgow and pursued my, my dream career as a solicitor. So what I would just like to say to anybody out there who if they or their loved one hasn't quite got what they wanted to get is that um, there are other routes you know college there are uh, other routes in university or apprenticeships and all of these things uh, are still open to you despite how it may feel at the moment so I would just encourage people to just um, explore those avenues when they feel ready to do so. And Ryan you make the point there that uh, there obviously there, there will be those that, that get exactly what they wanted today and it will lead them on to the next thing as, as planned and they will thrive and do really well and that will be the case for lots of people but there perhaps would be others who would actually benefit from, you know, a couple of years of something else first before they then pursue what it is that they're eventually going to end up doing. You know, you mentioned you'd been working since you were 16 and that's given you really valuable skills before you then knuckled down and studied for what it is that you wanted to do ultimately. Uh, yes, and I, I, for me that was a real benefit, and of course it's important. It's, it's important not to have this conversation without acknowledging the fact that the attainment gap exists in Scotland, mm. and uh, it's the it's the kids that grew up in areas like where I grew up in Easter House who are disproportionately impacted today. And I think what we have to do as a nation is, of course, alleviate poverty, and we have to keep the promise that was made uh, to care experienced people uh, like me across Scotland. But I think what we also have to do is every one of us try and create those positive relationships. So if you are a manager or you are somebody in an organisation that can create those relationships and foster those relationships, then I would encourage people to do so. And, and if not, if you're just somebody who's done quite well and you want more stories like mine to become the reality in Scotland, I would recommend uh, reaching out to a charity called MCR Pathways, who I don't have any affiliation with. I'm just a massive fan of the work that they do. And what they do is they... Uh, match up volunteer mentors with young people who are usually about S4 to S6, young people who might not have that positive relationship. And what we've seen in Scotland is the schools in which they operate, the attainment gap and, and, and the, the exam results is really improving. So if you really want to try and uh, make things better yourself, I would recommend reaching out to MCR Pathways. Yeah, Ryan, we're really grateful for your time, for taking the time to talk us through that. I'm sure there are lots of people that feel a lot better listening to what you had to say. So we're really grateful. That's lawyer Ryan McQuake speaking to us on the day that many people have got their exam results in Scotland.